Okay, the change mode command or chmod can change permissions for directories and files. And you have three groups of permissions, owner, group, and others for every file and directory. And under each of those, you have read, write, and execute. And each of those, RWX is represented by a one for execute, two for write, and four for read. And if you want to do, you want to combine permissions like read and execute, you would add the four and the one together. So five will be read and execute. Read and write would be four plus two. And to give all permissions would be seven and no permissions would be zero. So we can check out my directory listing here. Um, this column is where the position, the permissions are. The first character, a dash stands for a file and D stands for directory. Then you have three groups of three, which are the permissions for owner, group, and others. And we can change those using the chmod command. So chmod, and if I want to give um, the group and others to be only able to read, then it would be seven for owner, which gives me full permissions. And then the group for read is four, and then on others, four as well. And then I'm going to apply that to host.txt, which is the top file. Okay, you can see that uh, the permissions have changed. Read, write, and execute for owner, and then read and read only for others. We can do the same thing with a directory. And you can see this file here, stuff is my directory. So I'll do the same thing. chmod 7744 stuff. You can see now my directory is read, write, execute for the owner and then for the group and others is just read. Now we can do a recursive chmod dash capital R and we can do 744 for stuff and every directory or every subdirectory of stuff and every file under stuff will now be 744. So I'll change into stuff. And you can see everything. Read, write, execute, and then read and read. Now there's another way to do that instead of using the numbers. We can do where we have owner, group, others, and all, where we can add and remove permissions with the plus and minus. So we would say chmod, and say I want to, for the group, I want to add right, and execute for host.txt. And you can see the group permissions now have read, write, and execute for host.exe. And you can take those away by placing a minus. And you can see that's back to normal. And that's all there is to it. Thanks for watching.